Okay, so East is gonna go first, right? Then what, me. What'd you pick? I picked a Senko. Yep, by Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits. That is, let's see, how long is that one? What's, if you turn it around like, and you look at, what does it say? How many inches? Is there a number? I have no idea how to tell. Let's see. This one. Oh, see the six right there? Mm -hmm. And the two little dots? That means inches. Six inches. So this is a six inch Senko. Hmm. That's actually a you know, you, you know how I throw those? That's, that's one of those. I'm not big on throwing them, but boy, they catch fish. And that right there, you throw it. Oh, look at that. It's got smelly jelly all around it. That's why it's smelly. Uh, I love smelly jelly. I I throw this with a with with no weight. I fly land just with a hook, right? You can throw a wacky rake, or you can do a Texas rake with the hook through the head and then. Wait, Dad, why is it called a wacky rake in Texas? Let's see, put it back in here. So, what was your question, Pearl? What does wacky rig mean? No, what does a wacky rig mean and a Texas rig mean? Like, okay. why if it's that way? It's so called this is called wacky. it's wacky because it's because like the it's wacky. Do, yeah, do, but do. why is the other one like this? So the other one, the other one is Texas rig. Why? Because that's the old-fashioned terminology they use back in the day and it may have originated in Texas. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure. What is this? I'm assuming. And then the Texas rig. I have a question. What if you put it like this to make like a seven? <laughs> or would that be called? I have no idea. A seven rig. Yeah, yeah seven rig. Seven rig? Yeah, we so, should make that. I mean, so Pearl, this is what you do when you do a Texas rig. Do you have any thoughts, Easton? No. Um, um, anything you need to add? Look at that. So it's weedless, so you can either throw that in grass, whatever. You got it right through, it's weedless until the fish bite it. And you hope, this is hooks a little bit small, but that's, that's it right there. So. I'm so glad I created the seven rig. The seven rig? Yep, you hook it. What do you think, Easton? Right there. Would you like to throw that one day? Yeah? Cool. Uh, my turn. Uh, Ethan, I'm going to show you how to hook it weedless. That way it doesn't get snapped. You go through the top. Okay. About an inch, inch and a half. And you go all the way through it and okay. you, so it looks like that. Then what you do is you take the other end you kind of size it up with the worm where it's going to come through, pinch it, go through, make it nice and neat, and you poke it back through itself, just like that. You see that little, how it pokes it out and then back in? Mm -hmm. Check that out. Nice and weedless. That's it, and then, then you're good to go. You can cast that thing and bring it around two leaves and grass. Okay, cool, so you picked did you know this was one of my favorite baits? No. It's either called a trick worm or a money worm, right? I call it the money worm. But it's, this is a trick worm. That was called a money worm. Yep. And then uh, all my buddies and I call it the money worm. Because like, if you throw it, you get tons of bass, but you throw tons of bass in <laughs> no, the You catch the bass to catch the checks, which brings you money. Oh, I thought I was told in the way. <laughs> I, thought, I like, is that a bass of money? Like, you throw it in, get some money on the hook, throw it back out. Oh, wow! No. Alright, so these are the, the Zoom trick worms that I throw all year long for bed fish and, and whatever they're doing, I'll, I'll throw this on them all the time. Um, I do a, a few different things with these, but I normally throw them wacky rig, um, just like a Senko, uh, weighted on the on one end, and uh, that's wait, about it. But I do smelly jelly too. Wait, 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 wait. 
Why is one side side and the other? I'll tell you why. I think it's because they want you to put a rattle in that side. A rattle? A rattle right in there. What's and a then rattle? the weight, there's a there's a there's a rat a little glass rattle. You can insert them into the tail here. And if it wasn't that thick, you wouldn't be able to do it. You'd break the tail. And then this is where the weight goes. That's where the rattle goes. Wait, let me There's have the hook. Experiment real quick. Nothing in there. Well, this one's right, right out of the bag. I've got bags with them pre made in there. It smells like. Let's say, here we go. Hey, so, what do you got there, Logan? An Avid. Yeah? Yeah. This is one of my favorite A rigs. This is a, a Bailey rig. Um, this thing works really good for school fish. You can fish this deep or shallow. I like to fish it kind of deep. Um, and you, I really like to use that Garmin live scope on it. What's up? Um, what, why, I think that the, there's metal like this, so the, the, the sun will shine it, and the fish will go towards it and see what it is. Are you serious? That's exactly what it's for. You know what that is? That's the, as they're to act like little bait fish, just a flash, like a little flash, like, like the sun banging on the, on the fish when they swim, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. That's exactly what it does. Like, Good call, Easton. When they're swimming and like you can see them because they're close up, like if they like swim, you can see it. And when, and once again, if they swim, the other one is dark and shiny and then dark and shiny. Yeah. Like they move like this. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing comes in the water like a school of fish, right? And I can pop it, pop, pop, and it makes them flash. Can you put smelly jelly on it? No. You could, no. if they were biting you, but. But how did they put the hooks in? I put those hooks in. These are ball heads, and I just put the plastics on them, and I put a little spot of glue in there to but hold them on. These ones what don't is... have those. Wait. You're right. I think Logan, did you have a question? Yeah, I was going to ask, why do you only three of them, not, and not all five? In California, you're only allowed three hooks on any rig. You can have five wires, but only three hooks. So these are dummy. These are what we call the, the, like, the dummy ones. No, hooks. no. But they do I get bit you... sometimes. But I, so that's, that's, I think you want to see But size. dad, yeah. what if they get bitten off? Then I got to replace them. I, I have a bunch of baits. So I got wait, wait. extras in the boat. Instead of calling them the dummies, you can call